Previously on Scarlet Nexus. <laughs> Kasane, you can come talk to me whenever you want from now on. I can, like, you know, smother you in my boobs and all that. Okay, I'm sorry to regret, like, opening up to you guys now. And now back to weaponizing IQ points. Where have you been? Hurry up and unload the truck. I need to go get the lab ready. Great, now they're making us do manual labor too? This is turning out to be more of a pain than I thought. Haruka, any word from Kyoka or Kagura? Not yet. It's hard to get a good signal through Mizu Hagawa. I think it's because of the extinction belt above. I see. Then let's get this over with. Go to Splitters, please, again. Can you all hear me? Great, you're all right. What about Kagero? You know me. I normally say I'm ship shape, but we've actually found ourselves in a tight spot. Yeah, of course. What happened now? It wasn't Kodama's men in Mizu Hagawa. It was Yuito Platoon, and they noticed the truck. Yuito Platoon? Did you two... Yes. We couldn't have anyone following the truck. So we did what we had to do. Which was fight them. And it's probably we're getting our asses kicked. It was only to buy some time, though. Then we used Major Kyoka's duplication and my invisibility to lose them. Which is how the story would go in a perfect world, but they've got Sugumi's eyes on their side. Ah, her clairvoyance. We can't let our guards down. We'll try to rendezvous back with you after we throw them off our trail. You should still be careful, though. Copy that. Contact us if anything happens. Sorry, guys. Due to the extinction belt, I can't track Yuito Platoon. Well, there's nothing we can really do about that. We just have to finish this annoying work first. We managed to get one truck unloaded. They all look like the same boxes. <sighs> Shiden, what's wrong? Are you tired? What? No, I'm not tired. I was just curious what this cargo was. That's it. What? Somehow with your arm? Damn. What are you doing? You can't unlock private cargo just because you're curious. No, it just unlocked on its own. What is it? Did you find an other inside or something? Yeah, it probably is, but, well, given that you said it right now, Rashi, it's probably something else. Look. Hmm? What is it? Th this is... a human head? Oh, what? This one, too. All of these cases, they're filled with heads. Oh, fuck. What are they going to use them for? Wait. Oh, the other experiments, aren't they? They're putting these people's brains inside of them, but aren't they- Wouldn't, wouldn't they be dead then? Food? Oh. Naomi said she takes the medication in the ampules. These are probably used to research the other weapons. Oh my god, oh, that would have been really fucked up. Maybe. No, I shouldn't be tossing around any theories at this point. So, basically, these human heads are being transported from Kogetsu? That researcher mentioned getting the lab ready. We might be able to find something if we search the facility. We're not done unloading the truck, but I can't stop thinking about this. Let's go check out where he went. Alright, we're doing this again. It'll be bad if Yuito finds this location. Will we have to fight them, too? We don't have a choice. Hopefully, you can handle this so we don't have to do that. Hmm. Alright, so let's check what this premium is. Oh my god, it's a lot of shit happening. The rescue team arrived in Bisaokawa. Don't worry, the transport team member that told us about the truck under the attack was safely recovered. Thank goodness. Did they find his little transport team members he was worried about? Well, they think there probably aren't any survivors. After analyzing the evidence, it's highly probable that they, they were attacked by the members of Kodama, turning to others. No. That's why there weren't anyone around the truck. That's awful. Instead of just killing them, she had them kill each other. She's a twisted one, that's for sure. Twisted doesn't even scratch the surface. 
Damn that Kodama. I'll keep a vigilant eye on Kodama too. We all need to stay vigilant. Yeah, that Kodama is a really messed up individual. It's no wonder she didn't left her platoon. And we're going through this place again for the umpteenth time. This time without, like, Kyoka and Kigero's abilities, which is gonna be an annoying trek. I think the, uh, door should be still open. Oh, thank God. I did not want to go through this place again. Really do hate this place. The stench is just awful. I was right. It can't be. Oh, it definitely is. Others feed on human brains, and this facility houses others, and... Oh my god, that is truly fucked up. Does that mean Naomi is eating human brains? Ampules. How could... these ampules... but that means Naomi... Oh, the ampules are made of human brains? Uh oh. Damn it. Of course they'd come now. Seems like Seiron really wants Yuito dead. They must be desperate to eliminate the threat the Kunad Gate poses. Eliminate them. What are you going to do, Kasane? We should kill him to save the world. But I know I haven't been listening to anyone else. So maybe Yuito wants to talk to me, like all of you did. Wait, one more thing. If we refuse this assignment, they said they would dispose of the research subjects in order to bury the evidence. Oh boy. So we have to choose either Yuito or, Kas or Naomi. So they're taking Naomi as a hostage. And knowing that Naomi is your one soft spot, I probably would have done the same if I were them. Wow, it's pretty messed up, Arashi. But can they really do that? She's still an important research subject to them. And there's no way Major General Karin would let them. He didn't want Yuito to be assassinated. That may be true, but that still doesn't prove that Karin would protect Naomi. Although I can't picture him treating human-born others like mere objects either. However, this assignment came to us officially, which means there's a chance it came with Karin's approval. They could also be bluffing. What's important isn't whether or not they're bluffing. It's how certain we are they won't harm Naomi. That's... And it doesn't help that we've already failed one assassination attempt. This response seems natural if they suspect we have ulterior motives. It's not like we can break Naomi out and take her with us. Yeah, no way. Does that mean we have no other choice but to fight Yuito? Hmm. Let's hide. Are you serious? Naomi is in danger. I know, but fighting them out in the open wouldn't be smart. We should hide in the next area and ambush them. That would give us an excuse to leave here and would buy us some time to think. Haruka, report our plan to them. We'll lie and wait for the intruders and stand by for an opportunity to attack. Copy that. Good luck. Alright. This is not gonna go well. I was wondering why there were so many, like, objects I can, like, attack with in here. They look a little bit suspicious. Understood. Yuito platoon arriving in five, four, three. All right, here we go. What is this facility? It looks like some sort of assembly line. Hey, those boxes. Aren't they the same ones from that transport truck we saw? 
What is it, Sugumi? Does it contain what I brought earlier? A human head. Oh, they know about it. You've gotta be kidding me. All of these? Actually, I can't really be surprised because Sugumi can see through them. What in the world is this place? What do you want to do? Have you gotten your thoughts together yet? There are no thoughts to get together. I don't have a choice. It's only an issue of resolve. So, we have to fight. That's our assignment. Besides, if we let Yuito leave now, the public will find out about this place, and the ampules. Then they might stop all the research. What would become of Naomi if that happened? Either way, our only choice is to kill Yuito. Jesus Christ, this is getting intense, man. Like, I... I thought at some point we were going to try and talk it out, but we're, we're now in a position that we can't even try. Have you thought about what the ampules contain? Of course I have. But to be honest, just thinking about it won't solve anything. Well... We have your answer. Just listen to yourself. We should just tell them everything. Well, they're gonna be listening in on us, Sheeden. Have you... Did you miss that part? Yuito will understand. He's way too forgiven. We should take advantage of that. And then what? That would mean going against Seiron. If you have a way to save Naomi, then tell me. I never said. Okay, calm down, you two. What about fighting to a draw? We can just tell Seiron that we had to be careful we didn't damage this very important facility. Or something along those lines. Yeah, it's pretty smart. Knowing the strength of Yuito Platoon, we should be able to convince the government that we tried our best, but couldn't beat them. Wait, wait, they, they wanted them dead, though. So, I don't know. However, they would get suspicious if they completely overpowered us. We'll have to fight like we mean it. This is the best idea I've got. I can go along with that. That's fine with me, too. Guys, you need to make contact with Yuito Platoon soon. Let's go. Seiron will start to get suspicious if we wait any longer. Those ampules! I think I'm going to be sick. This can't be real, right? Those were made by Spring Pharmaceuticals. Like Kyoko couldn't lose you. What is this? I think you've already figured it out. This is Spring Pharmaceutical Ceylon Factory. To be more accurate, it's an other research facility they run jointly with the Ceylon government. They're using these heads to make their products. <sighs> Shiden, stay calm. Just concentrate on stopping Yuito. Wait, let's talk. Hey! Alright, let's do this. First you won't tell me why you're trying to kill me. Now you're trying to hide this cool place. Don't you feel oh, fuck. anything seeing what's going on here? What are you all thinking? Shit. I'm not done yet. Yuito is totally dangerous with his freaking attacks. Shut up, bitch! Take this! <laughs> oh my god! I just imagine her focusing on Naomi just to make her shut up. <laughs> you don't know anything about anything. Fuck. We don't know anything because you won't tell us anything. They're fucking trying to like hit me hard. I gotta get rid of these guys. Fuck. 
Yuto is gonna kill me, kill me like crazy. I need time to. I need space. All right, let's try this again. Round two. Seriously, they really are only targeting me. The fuck? This isn't fair. And I kind of like ran out of the sheet and stuff, so I can't take advantage. Fuck. Fuck. These but these fights are truly the hardest ones. I can with Hanabi. Oh, what is that? All right. Gotcha. All right, Ken. Get away from me, Gamma. All right, he's doing his thing now. And of course, him. Yeah, he's immune to damage. Gotcha. All right. Now for Yuito. Oh shoot! What is that? He does a lot of abilities I don't. I am not aware of. All right, he's doing his brain drive. Gotcha. All right, I'm not really as excited about this anymore, Yuito. So, die. Okay, now I know something's wrong with you, Kazane, if you're not shitting on me now. Okay, we gotta be careful with this one now. Gotta survive for 40 seconds. Yeah, I'm just gonna, like, walk around. This has gotta be the most dangerous for my party members. Oh, fuck. Did he just one-shot me? <laughs> that was so stupid of me to go in front of that. Fuck. Now I have to play that entire section again, don't I? I did not expect for him to do that much damage. Jeez, that is a really hard, like, fight, to be honest. Like, a three-on-three -three situation, but they're still... They just gang up on you. Great, I have to do this shit again, damn it. Did I just use, all, use up all my, yo know, items? <sighs> my biggest mistake is trying to, like, dodge all these attacks. I'm just trying to perfect evade it. It's so difficult to do. Which could, which I can use like brain drive, somehow. Oh my god! Sorry, if I die before I get to Yuto's face, I'm gonna be so mad. I think I missed it. Somehow I missed the you know, stun him. All right, let's try this again. This time I'm not doing anything stupid and getting myself killed. I'm just gonna run straight away from you. Probably should like use one of these as well. Just a maybe a brain gear one. All right. Now we'll be ready to you know go wild after him. Yeah, they look pretty dead. Uh, you know. Fuck. All right, my turn now. I'm getting tired of like hearing that beeping sound. You're gonna stop me. This is bad. I'll track you down and kill you. Get it together. All right. Out of it already. Making drugs out of human heads is crazy. We have to stop them. But Naomi, she needs this. What do you mean? What is this facility for? That's... You are not authorized to divulge any more information. Are you the government official from before? I'm sorry, I was ordered to patch him through. Please focus on eliminating the target. We promise you fair compensation for your efforts. 
By compensation, you do mean Naomi's safety, correct? I want a clear answer that'll stay on the OSF transmission record. I wonder how we look in, like, Yuito's perspective. We're just, like, dead silent. Uh, well... Why aren't you answering? My bet is because you made this call on your own, without Major General Karin's permission. There's been a change in plans. I am canceling your assignment. Await your next orders. Oh, wow. That was easy. Communication with Ceyron has been disconnected. We're not being monitored anymore. I can't take this anymore. I'm telling them everything. No. I will. This place is an other research facility run jointly with Spring Pharmaceuticals, just like Arashi said. Human brains of people with powers are being brought here. A portion of them are transplanted into others to turn them into other weapons. The rest are turned into a medical solution to feed the others. Okay, so how do they get the people in the first place? These are like uh, OSF, OSF members, right? That's horrible. Hey, are you really sure about Seiron? I know New Himuka has a lot of its own issues. It's not right that the government monitors everyone and controls all the information. But Ceylon causing the uprising, that's just as messed up. Can we really let them get away with transplanting human brains into others, or processing the brains into drugs? No, we can't, obviously. That being said, there are in fact some people who've been forced to accept it. Like my brother. And then there's Kasane. People whose loved ones have been turned into others. They depend on that medication. Human-born others can temporarily regain their senses when they take that medication. Even letting them talk. Does Karin have a family member that's been metamorphosed? No, not a family member. As Luca or Kabuki mentioned it. Alice? Yeah, the girl. Like, I think it was like a Hanabi's aunt, right? Or cousin? What? Yuito. His brain is... Yuito. Yuito? Are you okay? What's wrong? You look like you're in pain. There's something wrong with Yuito's brain. He's beginning to show signs of speech and memory impairment whenever he uses his power. Oh, so... This might be connected to the Kunat Gate. I'm okay now. The pain is fading. Huh? What? Damn. Sorry to interrupt, but you need to leave now so we can call this a draw. Hurry up, or the others will come. We should leave too. That okay with you, Kasane? Yes. Why did she suddenly cut the conversation off, though? I, I guess it's like, you know, to make sure they- we, we end this in a draw. So that we don't, like, talk for too long, but still. I'm sorry. I heard from Haruka. It seems like a lot happened while we were gone. If Yuito and his team left, Shouldn't we be checking on a certain someone? Oh yeah, Naomi. That's right. Naomi. I'm coming, Naomi. Naomi! Great. We'll go check and see how Naomi's doing. What about you guys? Where are you? We're close by. So let's meet up at Naomi's room. Jesus Christ. This is the first I've heard there was a communications log. Very observant. That was just a bluff. Luckily, it fooled them. Huh, okay. I, I probably missed that part somehow. Oh, I see two people over there. Who is that? Oh, that's Karin and. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good.
What's going on with her? I had no idea that drugs and the ampules were made from human brains. So, you found out. I heard a researcher. She said that Yuito and his team saw the head. Down, Naomi. Oh man, this has got to be really. This got this got to do permanent damage to her mental state now. I can't do this anymore. If I had known it came from human brains, I would have told them no. It's a cruel reality, but without these drugs, it wouldn't be possible to talk with you like this. Yes, I know. All this time, Naomi turned into the very thing she was excited for. The zombie that eat brains. Oh man, I really hate it when my dark jokes go full circle. That's not true. You're still you. Thank you. But I have to be honest. This is too much for me. I can't do it. I don't want to live if it means other people have to die. Wait. I'll find a way to turn you back. So please don't give up. I'm sorry. Please, I need to be alone. Naomi. Jesus Christ. You undisciplined rats. I know you can hear me. Get out of Naomi's room now. Major General Karin, you're here at the facility? I'll tell you about the research they do here. Now get out of there so Naomi can calm down. Let's go. I'll be back, Naomi. I'm sorry, Kasane. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. I see Karin in the distance over there. He is pissed. Look, Karin, we can explain, okay? We were trying to kill Yuito, and like, you know, things went awry, and we had to like check up on Naomi, because we found out some messed up stuff. You're not mad at us, are you? You look mad. Please do not kill me. So, Seiron isn't as unified as I had thought. First, I think you owe us rats an apology for stringing us along through all this. Who owes who now? Huh? I don't care about an apology. Have you found a way to turn Naomi back? If she stays here, she's... Not yet. I'll keep Naomi's psychological well-being in mind, but this facility is the best chance she has. Even if we manage to pacify Naomi, she'll have to continue taking the ampules. <laughs> Let's not forget about the can of worms in which, like, her mental state is now pretty fucked. They'll be able to do it. Why is Ceyron conducting research like this? What are they planning on doing to others using human brains? I suppose I should tell you what Ceyron and Suo's true motives are. Now, I'm gonna guess, like... This whole thing is just a facade. The whole government wants to just, like, make some kind of research and just, like, it's using the Civil War to just, like, distract the citizens. Just the same with, like, Yuito becoming a hero. It all comes down to how each city views others and the Extinction Belt. Oh, let's see. The Extinction Belt? That thing hovering in the sky, right? Suo wants to eliminate the Extinction Belt to stop the others. Yeah. Seiron believes they need the Extinction Belt. Why, though? The differing views of the Extinction Belt is the root of Suo and Seiron's conflict. I might not agree with their methods, but I can understand Suo's position. Seiron, on the other hand... Yeah, why the fuck would they want to keep the Extinction Belt? I'm guessing that there's something to the Extinction Belt that seems valuable to them. Why do they think the Extinction Belt is necessary? That's where the others come from. Yeah, but we don't know anything about them, do we? 
Ceyron is pursuing their counter-other research while avoiding the elimination of the extinction belt. Kagero, what do you think would happen if the extinction belt disappeared? Uh, the others stopped coming, right? Why did he ask Kagero specifically? That's kind of worrisome. Um, no idea. Why are you asking me? Never mind. In any case, I don't care about what either side wants. Uh, I don't know why he asked Kagero that question. Does Kagero know something? It has to have something to do with Togetsu, right? I, I think Togetsu might know something. More importantly, Kasane. What? What you did here was reckless. Oh, well, to be honest, it's not the first time, Karin. I get that a lot. I only did what I could for Naomi. Seiron's threats aren't just a bargaining strategy. Watch what you leak to Yuito, and be careful you don't do anything that would put Naomi in danger. <sighs> That's all for now. Oh, what is it now? No, we're not done here. We still have questions. Remember your roles. That will help Naomi more than anything. He looked like he was in a hurry. I wonder if something happened. It's painstakingly obvious that Karin is still hiding information from us. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. Listen, we've just been through a lot. I think we should go back to the hideout and get some rest. Yes. Hold on, Naomi. I promise I'm going to save you. Jesus Christ, this is an interesting little chapter we went through. So, the Extinction Belt is important in all this conflict, and that's where the others come from. But we don't know much about the others or the Extinction Belt, really. Welcome back, everyone. You've come here as well. I was afraid I might run into that government official if I went back to headquarters. I'm sorry. Forcing the guy's hand by threatening to put him on the record must have put you in an awkward position. His face was beet red. It was hilarious. If I saw him in person, I would have laughed right in his face. Oh, I would have loved to see that. That bastard totally deserves it. I can't leave Naomi there. I have to hurry and find a way to turn her back. Can I really rely on Karin? You don't look so well. Hey, you better not be thinking about running off on your own to save the day again. No, don't worry. I'm not. Karin mentioned that my power was connected in some way to saving my sister. He did mention that, didn't he? Sure didn't make an effort or even care to explain himself, though. I thought with everything that happened at the other research facility, Naomi would be protected if I asked him. But now, I'm not so sure. There's still so much I don't know. Yeah, same for me too. That's, that's usually how these stories go. Gotta be having some air of mystery. That's true. But to be honest, we barely know anything about the others. That laboratory holding Naomi has the most advanced research on them. So, there's something I've been wondering about that place. You know that truck that you escorted? Yeah. Wasn't it from Togetsu? Yeah, I've been I've been very suspicious of those guys. Yes. Well, there were no records. Judging from its route, there's no mistake it came from Togetsu. Considering the cargo it was carrying, I feel like Togetsu must be connected to the other research somehow. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Togetsu is not that kind of place. All oh, right, you're from there and you follow their faith. It's a religious community that worships the moon. I never even heard them say anything about others. Hmm, that's a little interesting. They worship the moon. Why the moon? But with all that cargo they're providing, they must be connected in some way or another. Togetsu has a long history and managed to establish a different culture from Suo or Seiron. That alone sets it apart. 
I think it's safe to assume that they have information that would prove useful to us. I've never actually considered Togetsu before, but you might be onto something given the situation. We might find a clue there that will help Naomi. You're really going there? You won't find much. I can honestly say I don't know of any place less exciting. What do you want to do? Let's go to Togetsu. For real? Yeah, for real, Kagero! Weren't you even listening? Karin told us not to do anything that it upset Ceylon. But I don't fully trust him. If we don't know what he knows or what he's hiding, then we don't have a choice. Then what about Naomi? It might not be a bluff next time. Haruka, I have a favor to ask. I'll keep an eye on Ceylon and the research facility and contact you if there's any change. Thank you. I owe you one. Well, let's get ready to go to Togetsu. Okay. All right. I don't like the way this is going. Yeah, Kikero. Kikero must know something. He seems he does not want us to go there, does he? Kasane's story stand by phase seven. Should I talk to Shiden? Hey Kagero, what dead was Major General Karin talking about? I don't know. Maybe he was mistaken, or he was bluffing. I see. All right, I have to go through these like uh every single one of these, huh? Someone important to Major General Karin metamorphosed too. That's what he told Yuito. Yuito said a name. What was it? Alice. Well, it's a bit of a sensitive topic, to say the least. Sorry, but can we talk about it later? I'll talk if necessary, but I don't feel like it right now. Okay, so Kyoko has an episode. I think Suo and Seiron are both hiding something. Karin's true motives are still a mystery. I wonder what he's after. All we can do is keep moving and watch them. Man, this is going to be such a pain. Yeah, along with everything else that's happening in this world. Kagura, why are you so against going to Togetsu? It's where you're from. You're not popular, so you wouldn't understand. But I have a lot to worry about. Oh, being popular is hard. <laughs> Sorry for not being popular. Yeah, but I feel like Kagero's hiding something. He really is. Alright, let me check some, like, prisons before I, like, you know, open up the thing. Probably has some, like, new weapons as well, but I'll deal with those later in the next episode. Okay, get this first sheet in. It's new, so... A tea set for both of them, it seems. And it's a teddy bear. You like teddy bears, Kagero? Alright, then let's, like, uh, open up the thing. First and foremost. Okay, we have, like, a Bond episode with Luka and Tsukumi. It's a new mission unlocked. To all the members of the OSF, this is the OSF Vision Simulator Operation System. This is a message to notify you that a new mission has been added to the Vision Simulator. You may check the contents of the mission by accepting the Vision Simulator via any information device such as TV. We humbly await your connection. Alright, I'll do that soon. What to watch out for before going to Togetsu? Do you all know your basic information on Togetsu? It's high up on Hianoma Mountain, right? I know that the environment there is really harsh. Right, it's really cold and the wind is really strong, so make sure you're well prepared. Thanks, Haruka. We'll head to Togetsu Order Headquarters as soon as we arrive. Do we have any objections? None here. Let's head straight for the Order Headquarters. We have Kagero with us after all. That should be the quickest way to get through this. Whoa there! You're really going to count on me that much when I'm not even on board with going to Togetsu in the first place? Well, we can come back to this after we manage to climb the mountain safely. If we manage to. Togetsu's cargo. How are they getting their hands on so many human brains? I hate to say it, but there's a chance that they're killing for them. But if they keep killing that many people, it won't be long before there isn't anyone left in Togetsu. I told you, they're not like that. We're talking about a group so tiny that New Himuka allowed them to govern themselves. Kagero is right. They may have a long history, but they don't have a big population. And they seem to have always lived quietly in these mountains. Right? Even if they had something to do with the transaction of the cargo, I don't think they're involved in the metamorphosis research at all. Just being the supplier of the cargo is enough to involve them for us. We should all go together and see for ourselves. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna find something. Alright, then let's talk with Luca. Thank you for hearing me out the other day. I would actually like to speak with you again. I would like to hear your opinions on combat. 
Although you may be hesitant to discuss battle tactics with someone you so recently fought as an enemy, would you mind meeting me at Misubi's? God damn it, again? Fuck, I hate that place so fucking much. Like I said before, we don't need to worry about our situations respective of each other. If we're talking combat, I might be able to learn something too. I'll leave now. Damn it, I can't believe we're going back to fucking Masubis again. I swear, you guys are really loving that place for some bizarre reason. The food there sucks! I'm sorry to keep bothering you like this. You're not bothering me. I'm just wondering if I can really offer you anything. I mean, you're a septentrion, and I feel like you're far more capable. That's due to my title. Nobody will tell me their honest opinion thanks to my perceived status. Hmm, huh, really? That's how people generally are. To that point, I feel like you are someone who doesn't care about titles or status, and would speak her mind. Yep, all the time, every day. When we fought the other day, I thought your instincts were excellent. That's why I wanted to hear your opinions about the way I fight. Yeah, but I also saw that one time you rushed Yuito and he just like, you know, lay down the smack on your ass. Yeah, oh, god damn it, I'm so stupid. Ah, god damn it, I will never be able to live that down, will I? Okay, if that's what you want, I'll be honest with you. Yes, if you would be so kind. Why do you even use a hammer as a weapon in the first place? You have a small frame and you don't look like you have enough muscle. Yeah, but he probably prefers it. Wouldn't it be more effective to use something smaller and lighter that fits your physique, like a knife? I see. Thank you for your input. But I think you've overlooked a crucial fact. Which is? What do you mean? I agree that a hammer is a big and heavy weapon that doesn't seem to match my frame. But my power is teleportation. I see. So that doesn't really matter. I can close the gap the instant I swing. Or move on top of an enemy's head to let gravity do most of the work. In other words, I chose the hammer because it was the best weapon that takes advantage of my power. Okay, but how do you even carry it in the first place? It can also intimidate opponents with its powerful image. And it even offers a good workout when I lift it. I see. That's an interesting way to go about it. Oh, sorry. I got carried away there. I shouldn't argue, when I was the one who asked you to give me your honest opinion. No, I was just impressed that you found a fighting style that matches your power. But if you've established your style to this degree, there's not much point in asking for anyone's opinion. You might be right, but I feel like I'm lacking something. Are you unsatisfied with your current level of strength? I'd say this is more about eliminating my weakness than wanting to become stronger. As you already pointed out, I have a small frame. And while I work out every day, I don't have enough muscles. My current fighting style compensates for these facts. But it also relies too much on my power. I think children of the state like us all rely on our powers in a fight, more or less. That may be true. But think about what would happen if you could not use your power at all. You would have no choice but to rely on your physical strength. But I would be mostly useless the way I am. Not be able to use your power? I suppose that happening is a possibility, but that's a pretty limited situation. Well, you never know what could happen on the battlefield. You have to be prepared for anything. Really? I think it's a waste of time to worry about outliers. You have a point. I could be worrying a little too much. It could be because you don't believe in your own strength. Huh? I don't think there's any problem with the way you fight. If anything, I would say it's psychological. In other words, a lack of confidence. <laughs> How surprising. My brother said something similar to me in the past. Yeah, before he punted me like a football. He told me I was held captive by my own weakness. That does seem like my biggest problem. You really are perceptive. I was right to come to you. Was anything I said helpful? Yes. This has been very beneficial to me. Okay, that means you're gonna, like, pay the bill. 
right? Oh, sorry. I kind of forgot my wallet at home. Damn it! Fuck! Will you guys keep better track of your wallets, please? You don't hold back when we talk. So I find myself wanting to talk about things I normally wouldn't. That helps me be more open with my feelings, so I can relax. May we talk again sometime? Yeah, maybe, if I'm not, you know, killing your platoon next time. <laughs> that would be so funny if I'm trying to kill you guys again. You still want to fucking talk to me. After everything my platoon has done, you still want to talk. That's, that's incredible. You guys are oddly forgiving. Sure, if you're okay with me just talking like I normally do. Of course, I'd prefer that. What you consider normal feels fresh and new to me. What? You and your brother are both so strange. It seems like he's satisfied, though, so I guess this was okay. I guess so. Damn it, I still have to pay the fucking bill. It's a good thing I'm stinking rich, but damn, I can only have so much money now that my parents disowned me. I have to come to you for advice so many times, so I was hoping I could help you somehow. Is there anything you would like to ask about training or exercise? Not particularly. I train as much as I need to. As much as you need to. That is smart. However, I enjoy pushing myself to my limits. You may have noticed that I keep weights inside my clothing, so I am always working on my muscles. Some say this is excessive, but when I think there are muscles that I still have not trained, I cannot help getting depressed. Ah, he really wants to be swole like his brother. Uh, Sugumi. Do you remember when we talked about gardening? There's a lot I want to tell you about plants, so I hope I can talk to you in person. If you don't want to see me, you don't have to. If you don't mind seeing me, please reply. I have time, so whatever is fine. Alright, let's do it. If it's because we fought a centipede, don't worry. It doesn't bother me. Things are great now, but we don't have to worry about the situation until we can talk alone. Come to Save Run, we can talk there. Are you sure? That sounds kind of like a trap. No, don't worry. Save Run is a very good place. Nothing suspicious happening here. Oh no, definitely not. Sure, if you don't mind. This is more than just herbs. Yes. I like growing plants because it's fun hearing their different voices. You don't literally mean a plant's voice, right? No, because plants can't speak. That's why the person who's growing them needs to imagine what they're saying. Yeah, like a schizo. <laughs> Over here. Follow me. I'll show you what I mean. She's rather assertive when it comes to plants. Looking at the flower beds in cities like this, you can tell how they've grown or what condition they're in. This flower may look like it's growing healthy, but if you look carefully, you can see the bottom leaves are changing colors. It's sick. However, the branches and roots are fine, so I think it will recover if you snip off the sick leaves and give it medicine. Oh, these are all healthy, but there is a lot of water building up here, which could cause the roots to decay. You should exchange the soil for some with better water drainage. Oh. I'm sorry, I was blabbering again. Now that's fine, Sugumi. No, I'm impressed. Not only are you knowledgeable, you're perceptive enough to notice so much from their appearance. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not just from their appearance. I'm using my clairvoyance to see below the dirt. I can tell everything you normally can't see, from the condition of the roots to the quality of the soil. So it's kind of like cheating. Well, I don't think I would call that cheating. You're just putting your power to use. Besides, your knowledge and gardening experience determine the condition of the plant, not your power. Thank you. Oh, and of course you can garden without clairvoyance. I felt the same back during the military exercises, but the ability to scout anywhere makes her power an important asset. On top of that, she understands her power and has learned to use it well. She would be an outstanding team member. 
Yeah, but too bad I'm too busy, like, killing Yuto, so... It's a shame, Tsukubi, it's a shame, because you're really cute. Asami? What's wrong? Tsugumi, would you come with me? Huh? What do you mean? I mean just that. I want you to come to Seiron and fight alongside me. To kill Yuito, but yeah. <laughs> oh god. No. Well, it's not just for me. And I know this is a bit unfair for me to say, but I need your help for Naomi, too. I'm sorry about Naomi, but I already decided I would fight with Yuito. Aww. Even if it means having to fight me? Yes. When that time comes, I won't lose. Alright. If that's how you feel, I'll give up on trying to recruit you. However, please don't expect me to go easy on you either. Yeah, like that one time I laid smack down on Hanabi. Oh man, that was really good, Sugumi. That felt so damn good. I've been wanting to do that to her for so long. Y you cannot imagine how much she annoys me. That's okay. We'll still win. <laughs> oh, look. What is it? What is it? The inside of this tree is mostly rotten. It's been infected by a fungus that's consumed it from the trunk to its roots. You can't save it? It's too far gone. If we leave it, the wind might blow it over. In that case, I think it's best if we dispose of it now. I can use my psychokinesis to uproot it. Don't say it like that. What? It could lead to an accident if it suddenly fell over. The tree is dying anyway. We should deal with it. This tree is alive, too. It's been sick and suffering, half dead, and you're talking about it like it's garbage. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so insensitive. Uh, I'm sorry, too. I know you're right. It's already too late, and our only option is to cut it down. But that's why we need to care. This tree has watched over everyone its whole life. I think it's important for us to show it the proper respect to the end. Yes. Aww. Thank you for understanding. Oh, also that shrubbery over there. She has more depth than I thought. She's quiet, but she doesn't just do what she's told. She has a hidden strength. How strange. I feel like we would really get along. Asane, are you listening? I'd like for you to pay attention here. Don't worry, I'm listening. You can talk as much as you want. No, I really like Sukumi a lot. I really do. She's really cute and she's just... I don't know, she's just so overall nice. You're very calm for only being in your first year. Even with so little combat experience, it's amazing. Almost as if you're the protagonist. Yeah, I pretty much am. The way you fight surprised me, Tsukumi. You're always so quiet, but you're ruthless in combat. Like, seriously, you're probably the strongest character in the game. Can't wait to have you in my party. How do you make the change? I don't hesitate when fighting enemies, like swatting insects. Oh my god, that's pretty, that's pretty scary. <laughs> you can't avoid swatting insects if you raise plants, so I'm used to bugs. So I just treat the others like they're bugs. They're a lot bigger though, but they're still bugs. Okay, I'm starting to worry for Yuto's safety right now with you in this party. Alright, let's give all the characters their gifts. Uh, first off, uh, probably Kagero, right? Here we go. I can't imagine Togetsu would be interested in others and weapons. Going there is just going to be a waste of time. Yeah, there's something there, isn't it, Kagero? Alright, here's your, like, teddy bear. This cute teddy bear is dressed up in a pink ribbon. It's holding a small heart that you can have someone's name engraved on if you're giving it a gift. Maybe it can help you rest peacefully on sleepless nights. Ah, oh, great, girl. You couldn't get this, could you? So you're... You have to rely on me to give it to you. Oh, cool. I haven't seen a fancy doll like this in a while. Hmm? Oh, 
I was kind of into it a long time ago. Is that so? Alright, see what it looks like. Nah, it looks like that. This is so cute. Hey there, Haruka. I'll be navigating you from the hideout from now on. Don't worry, I'll send you updates on Naomi through pretty messages. Alright. I don't give you any gifts, so that's a shame. Hey there, Arashi. I'll be recharging my batteries until we go to Togetsu. There's always so much strain my body can take. Come on, Arashi, you didn't even do anything. You just sat in the corner while Yuto and his team all dogpiled on me. Yep, it was so fun to watch. Alright, here's your tea set, Arashi. This set contains a porcelain teapot, cups, and saucers. The design is simple, but it's made with subtle features and make delicious tea. The teacup has no handle and must be pinched to be held, making it very elegant. Alright, didn't know you were into teas, Arashi. Unless you put coke in it as well. A graceful cup of tea. I'm not really the type, but I'll take it. I'm gonna fill it up with coke. <laughs> that would be so funny if she like just like takes a teacup and just like fills it up with coke. That would be so funny and so in character for her and oh my god, what is she doing? Oh, I guess she's having like tea with like Kyoka. I guess I should, I should like give Kyoka the tea as well. I can't imagine Toketsu is not involved with the other research. We should be able to find leads if we make contact with the Order. Alright, uh, let me talk- uh, I don't know. I don't know if like uh, giving gifts actually maxes out the bond episode, but let me just talk with Kyoka real quick. There's still a lot about her I want to know, um, know about. Yep, something's wrong with her now. What's wrong? I'm sorry, hold on. I'm getting another headache. Okay, it's gone now. I'm surprised how little characters have mental disorders given how their powers are based off of like their minds. You still don't look well. Maybe you should rest. No, I need to clean the hideout soon. I can't cause trouble for Ooh. <laughs> We'll feel a lot better if you rest instead of pushing yourself in this state. Please, Kyoka. Okay, I'll rest for a little bit then. Alright. Hope everything's okay. Drink one of my special nutrition drinks. Don't worry, it hasn't expired. Ah, uh, but I don't like drinking Coke, Arashi! Stop complaining, Kyoka! It's my special Coke medicine, okay? It'll definitely work, trust me. I didn't join the OSF to take care of someone else. I'll leave the wrong towels here. All right, Shaden. I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. It's not so bad being looked after. Just rest up for now. We don't want our nice hideout getting cleaned up by Kyoka anyway. What? Why? Wow, look how popular she is. She got the lazy Arashi and the sour little Shaden to get off their butts and help. Why don't you do something too, Kagero? Yay, you lazy asshole! You and Arashi both are lazy! What? Can't you tell, Kasane? I'm lovingly watching over everyone for her. Oh, my God, Kigero. Anyway, we should leave her alone so she can actually get some rest. How are you feeling, Kyoka? Brainwaves are stable. Pulse is also at normal level. No issues to report. Uh-oh. Here's the other personality she has. Apparently. Kyoka? Was that... Huh? Oh. I'm sorry. It looks like the old me came out again. She seems to pop out when I'm tired or concentrating on something. What does it feel like to suddenly be someone else? Well, it's not like I'm particularly conscious of it. But there's no clear distinction it's a different person from me. To be honest, I don't even know which is the real me. Oh, that's pretty scary, to be honest. That must be tough. I mean, if you can't tell anyway, why don't you just choose the one you'd rather be? Which is probably the loving version, right? That's a good point. Thank you. You're right. I wish I had a choice. Hmm? Well, I feel so much better thanks to you. Oh my god, man. Kyoka, there's a lot of stuff that's foreboding about Kyoka's story, man. Like, the way she just, like, says, I hope it can stay this way, or I wish I had a choice. I feel like something bad's gonna happen to Kyoka. Are you sure you're okay? You don't need to try to support everyone by yourself anymore. You can come to us for help sometimes. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know if Shaden cares enough. Or she's a lazy asshole, and Kagero is too untrustworthy, so you can come to me for help sometimes. I appreciate your concern, but I'm really okay now. Besides, I'm dying to clean. 
I have to scrub every inch to make up for lost time. Oh, I know. I'll cook for everyone to thank them. Okay. She really does seem like she's doing better. Maybe I'll go do some training. What the? What happened here? I was only gone for a minute. What just happened? Hasane, it's Kyoka. What about her? She did a clean sweep. This is the end for me. You have to stop her. Why did she give you a lot of like food or something, Rashi? Ah, <laughs> oh, Rashi. A tornado went through here. Shidem? What happened to you? Yeah, she gave us a lot of food like a grandma. Save yourself, Kasane! Kyoka said she cooked something for us. And when I took a bite, my whole body went numb. <laughs> oh my god. Damn it. I should have known from the way it looked. No. <laughs> Wake up, Shiden! Ah, she is dead. Oh no, 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 no. What happened to Kakero? Ah, <laughs> uh, doing housework feels so good. Oh, Kasane. Do you even recognize the room anymore? I've also made cookies. Feel free to have some. Oh my god. <laughs> they even like censored it. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I'll pass. Yeah, I'm gone right now. You can just imagine Kakero's in invisibility mode just to avoid all of this. some porridge then I have to make sure she never does housework around here ever again it might be bad for her health and it's definitely bad for ours we've been together for a while Kasane ever since you were a cadet and your growth still surprises me it does I haven't noticed any changes in myself You've become a great soldier. I hope I can keep watching you get better. Ah, respawn level four with Kyoka. Assault vision. Attack an unguarded enemy, and Kyoka will call out. Answer her with triangle plus circle, and she will appear as a vision. Perform her special attack. Ooh, that sounds interesting. So that's how it looks. Okay. Just as long as you don't cook or clean for us, okay? Let's just leave that to me. I'm pretty good at it. Hopefully. I don't know. We're pretty much fucked, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. I never thought Kyoko was the type to not be good at housework. I'm sorry I made you work before. I have a device in my ear that lessens headaches, but I guess it wasn't enough. Oh, so that's what that thing was. I, I noticed it in her ear. I didn't know that. It must be really painful normally. Oh, I made you worry even more. It's okay. They're just a little headaches. You and everyone watch out for me like you did yesterday, Kasane. That's better than any restraining device, so don't worry about it. Ah, uh, I'm just feeling so worried for Kyoka. I feel so worried. I feel like eventually this, like, calculative personality of hers is going to overtake her, her other personality. Maybe that, like, version of hers is the real Kyoka or something. Here's your tea set, uh, Kyoka. Do you know about tea leafing reading? You can read the future in the shape of tea leaves left over in a cup. We should try it. I'm pretty sure somehow you'll make tea taste so unbearable, Kyoka. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, that's nice. They're having tea together. Though, it looks like <laughs> Arashi doesn't want to drink tea or anything for some reason. I wonder why. Is it because, like, uh, Kyoka's tea is actually terrible? That'd be funny. All right, Shin, let's talk with you. There's too much we don't know, but the more information we gather, the more we can better our situation. Yeah, true. Fun episode time. All right. Everything seems to be in order. Are you using a battle mask now? That's a good idea. No, I don't plan on using it yet. Really? It looks brand new. Captain Seto left this for me. Oh, he did? I guess they found it when they went through his belongings, and it finally made its way to me. 
Didn't like Yuto give it to you? I see. That's nice. Yeah. But when I look at this, I can feel how much expectation he had for me. I'm not worthy of this mask yet. I'll use it once I'm stronger. Don't you think he wanted you to use it right away? You say you want to wait until you're stronger, but do you even have a concrete goal? Well, when I'm as strong as him. How many years will that take? It's not going to take years. I'll be as strong as him real soon. Yeah, sure, whatever you say, Shiden. Keep telling yourself that. When I was a rookie, Captain Seto would always encourage me, telling me I could succeed. I want to live up to his expectations. If I don't, then I have no right putting on this mask. He cared about Captain Seto. I heard that someone found his fountain pen. Was that you? What if it was? Was it? I thought it was like... Mm, I, don't, I don't remember, actually. I thought so. Thank you for that. You don't need to thank me. I just didn't want his belongings discarded on the street. I know exactly how you feel. But why did you let me have it? Because you needed that pen more than I did. I saw the way you looked at him. I know you admired him. What? Wait. Don't tell me you didn't even realize it. How did you know? Me was written all over your face, Asade. Every time he was around, you were all always fawning over him. It's pretty obvious. I looked up to him too, but I'm pretty sure we had different types of feelings for him. Yeah, you look like you were really pining for him for some reason, Kasane. It was really bizarre. Different how? Figure it out yourself. They're your feelings. Ugh. I've never given my feelings for Captain Seto any thought. I'm pretty sure she thought of him as a father. Anyway, I let you have that fountain pen. I swear, if you don't take good care of it, I'm coming after you. I'll treasure it. Thank you again. You've done a lot to help me. Where's all this coming from? Listen, don't get the wrong idea about me. Yeah, I still hate you, Kasane. Yeah, I still hate you too, Shiden. Things can come to light even after a long time passes. I have Shiden to thank for making me realize that. If platoon morale drops, it affects me too. So, it's not like I was doing it for you. Or anything, Baka. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you say that again? I was a little lost in my own thoughts. <laughs> like I say it again. Damn it. <laughs> this really feels like a, a reverse situation with like a the main character and a Sundere romance or something. Now it's the male character who's the Sundere, while the female is just like oblivious. Besides, I bet he would have done the same thing with the fountain pen. Really? I know he must have cared about you, too. He was a really good person. He was a great mentor admired by everyone. And someone who meant more than anything to me. I no longer have anyone that recognizes my abilities. But I'll continue working hard to someday reach his level. If your goal is to be like him, why don't you work on your people skills, too? I'd much rather use that time to work on my abilities. People will naturally come to me as long as I'm irrefutably strong. Then that means you're not strong enough to have people follow you now. What's wrong with that? I know I'm nowhere near him. It's good that you know where you stand. I suppose you're planning to work hard in order to reach his status. Yeah. Things can't stay this way. You just wait. I'm looking forward to it. Aw. That was a nice Bond episode. Just looking at you makes me angry. Okay, now we're back to our regularly scheduled program of shit talk. I don't remember doing anything to you. I'm not saying you did something wrong. 
I'm mad at myself for being overtaken by someone like you. Yeah, twice. Watch out. I'm not the kind of person who gives up so easily. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that, Sheen. Alright, Assault Vision. Attack an unguarded enemy and Sheen will call out. Answer him with Triangle plus Circle and he will appear as a Vision and perform a special attack. I should probably try this out for both him and Kyoka. Oh my god, the banter between these two is just incredible. It never stops. Alright, here's your self-help book, How to Not Worry. Worrying too much about what others think of you, and you lose sight of your true self. Comparing yourself causes feelings of inferiority and will keep you awake at night. If you feel like this, this is the book for you. If you read through it, your outlook on life could improve. Alright, let's give it to you. Hope you like it. You better like it. I feel like I gave it to you before. Are you making fun of me? Just give it to me. I'll read it. Okay, you didn't have to accept it, Sheeden. You know that, right? Shut up. I want to read it, okay? It has nothing to do with my low self-esteem or anything. Baka. Alright, sure. Whatever you say, you little tsundere. Alright, this should be everything. Oh my god. Okay, kind of want to like, uh, check out these abilities of, like uh, Kilka and Sheeden got. So, let me go out and try to fight some others real quick. Fountain pen. I wonder why Seto took such good care of that fountain pen. I can't ask him now, unfortunately. I heard he got it from Karin to celebrate his promotion to Septentrion. It was probably a memento. I don't think it was a memento. It was proof that his strength was recognized. I bet he kept it to give himself confidence. I'm just kind of guessing at that, but I hope I get something like that someday too. Something to prove my strength. Nah. Alright, let's head out to test out these abilities. Hopefully there's a way to do it. I should like to do these quests for real quick if I can. Marabo Pendu. Which I should also check it on the brain map because I think it's got some new stuff. Okay, so first off, first off, I'm going to get this. I don't care. I'm going to get this max side gauge boost. Ah, now it feels good. Look at that long, long side gauge now. When I first used the brain field, it went so smoothly. Maybe that was because of bias. I bet it was. It probably heightened your emotional state temporarily. It's a beneficial system, but it's not without its own risks. Yeah. If your body catches fire, it's gonna keep hurting you. Be careful. Oh, there it is. Assault vision. Your allies can call to you during battle once you straighten your bonds with them. If you reply with triangle plus circle, they will appear as a vision and will execute a special attack. The stronger the bond, the more often they, they will call you. Alright, let's go. Yep. Okay, let's kill this guy. Oh, come on, really? How do I hit this guy if he's in the air? Gotcha. Did I get it? Or do I have to actually be invisible to do it? SAS invisibility is active to beat for Maro Pendu. Alright, we got it. Just have to keep doing it. We got it. Oh wow, that's actually really powerful. I should probably use that more often. Okay, I have to hit him when he's down. Got it. Good, Though it didn't wasn't invisible. Whoopsies. But at least I tested it out. Oh god, not these assholes again. Oh man, I did quite a good amount of damage. Yeah, this combo system seems very useful for hitting enemies. Oh, more of these assholes now. God, oh, they actually interrupt you when you're doing it. Alright. Okay, for some reason that didn't do anything. Or didn't, like, instantaneously get him. Which is pretty annoying. Gotcha. Okay, just need to like kill one more. Okay, I don't know why I couldn't just freaking do that. It conveniently stayed up in the air. Great. 
I don't know why this doesn't just like crit them or hit them instantaneously. Well, I waited long enough. Got it. All right, that should be everything. We finally got all the stuff I needed to get. So let's head on back. Let's just turn this in. And finally got an invisible dancer. Is that like any good for him? Yes, it is. Invisible Dancer V4 Plus. This improved version of the V4 knife includes a thin, soft cushion made of resin as the adjustable finger ring base. This helps to lighten the burn on the wielder's hand during drawn out battles. Yeah, it's a lot better. Look how we have like gold weapons now. Which is a little bit interesting. Anyways, guys, that's a perfect way to end this episode off. Yeah, we still have, like, you know, some stuff to do in Kasani's perspective, and we're going to go to Ko Togetsu in this phase, phase 7, to find out what they know about the other research, and possibly whatever other secrets they have. And I'm having a feeling that, like, Kagero is going to get in our way at some point while we're there, or it's going to try to portray us or something. Not entirely sure, but I feel like something bad's gonna happen when we get there. But until then, we'll have to go into Yuito's perspective and just, like, you know, wait, was this there before? I don't think it was. It's a little interesting. What is this? It's kind of like grocery list? Huh. But yeah, we're going to go to Yuito's perspective, complete all of Phase 6, and get into Phase 7. Which I think we're in Phase 7, I don't know, I kind of forgot. It's pretty difficult to keep track of all the phases, to be honest. Yeah, we're in the standby phase of Chapter 7, so we're going to play through Yuito's, like, you know, Phase 7, and then play Phase 8 as him. At least I hope I'm still in Phase 7. I don't know, I kind of forgot. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Scarlet Nexus. If you did and would like to see more, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down in the comment section. And if you have not already, I would like for you to leave a subscribe. That will make me a very happy person. And I promise you all that this Therian will be around for the next episode. Until we meet again, guys, I bid you all a fond... Farewell.